The mobile penetration is over 100%. It's over 100 million. And uh, like most people know how to use the mobile, smart mobile. Hello and welcome back to the Bankers Masterclass series on Egypt's reform agenda in association with Arab African International Bank. I'm James King, the Bankers Africa and Middle East editor, and with me is Hassan Abdallah, Chief Executive of Arab African International Bank. In this next chapter, we will be discussing Egypt's financial inclusion agenda and the role that technology is playing in providing uh, financial services to the unbanked. Uh, Hassan, uh, financial inclusion is obviously top of the agenda for many government departments across Egypt. Uh, the country has a huge population, uh, most of which is, is unbanked. Um, how much progress are you seeing on the financial inclusion front in Egypt today? It's a shame where we are in financial inclusion in terms of penetration and that now for the last several years there have been great and, no, and nationwide initiatives starting from National Council of Payment, from use of technology, from uh, having initiatives for the banks to have a percentage of the portfolio for, um, uh, for segments that are unserved, having payroll uh, accounts for the all uh, governments and companies. So there has been a lot of effort that's been done. This being said, there is still a long way uh, uh, in terms of uh, 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 things to be done, so that we can really, uh, as you mentioned, we are we need we are a hundred million. Our penetration is lower than fifteen percent, which is. Is, is a, a it's, very, quite, it's quite meager. A long way to go. And, and do, you, do you see that there's a, obviously a very big opportunity and role here for technology and innovation in financial services to, to address this challenge? This is where we're lucky. Technology can take us uh, leaps, especially if you would know the fact that uh, the mobile penetration is over 100%. It's over 100 million. And uh, like most people know, how to use the mobile, smart mobile, internet. We have a, a big in internet penetration as well from the population. And we started introducing one of the things, mobile payments, uh, 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 several gateways. So it's starting to, you know, even the, 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 the uh, you know, it's all about culture. So the culture is changing. Even now the uh, 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 people uh, from the uh, low income segments are using cards and smart cards to buy their stuff. Right. So right. it's quite interesting. There's a cultural shift there. there is. And do you think that from the regulatory side of things, there needs to be maybe a bit of catch up to, to meet some of these uh, technological changes sort of, and, and to improve the, the, the way that uh, financial institutions can engage with technology and the unbanked? There are already, uh, we have uh, uh, the mobile payment uh, uh, regulations out. Most of the regulations are out. Plus, I believe that the regulator is also part of global in several global initiatives. And they are key and they are doing a big role and they are uh, moving as fast as, as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you mentioned obviously a lot of Egyptian banks are now looking at uh, sort of you know, microfinance um, options and, and services. Um, AAIB is no exception. You've just launched uh, uh, your own microfinance unit, Sanda. Um, what role will that play in the Egyptian market? Uh, we had discussion uh, as, as staff in Arab African about uh, uh, serving the microfinance industry, and we decided that it is much more uh, uh, prudent to do it as an entity of its own. And we have partnered with very uh, respectable, renowned partners, a fund of SAND, of KFW, and uh, we have uh, established the company and already started working just several weeks ago. We have manned it with the best in the market and technology. Right. So we will be one of the fastest providing the service, and we're starting not only in Cairo, but we're starting outside of Cairo in Sohag, which is an area we believe that needs the service. And we believe that 
using technology, we can really move very fast and grow very fast in this country. I see. And as you were saying, that ties into what you were saying before about really serving populations outside of the main urban areas and reaching out to those people exactly. to provide them with services. Hassan, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you, James. Pleasure as always.